Thanks, Isabel. Just uh, want to draw your attention to a GB News exclusive on Dan Wooden's show uh, last night. Uh, filmmaker Andrew Drury interviewed Shamima Begum in Syria. Uh, she had her UK citizenship revoked uh, two years ago. She is a British-born woman, you will know, who left Britain aged 15 to join Islamic State. She says she believes she can now help the government better tackle terrorism. This is what she had to say. Message for me, for me to send back to people at home, what would it be? I, I don't have any messages. I'm like tired of giving messages and not being believed. What, to, to even yeah. to your own family? Yeah. I, I, if I give a message to my family, I want it to be face to face, not okay. over the media. Just as a mum, she must be wanting to know if you're safe or anything. Because my daughter would be able to kind of mainly want to be. I guess she safe. just like watches the media and, you know, hopes that a day never comes where she hears that I die. I know a lot about you because that's kind of a bit of a job of ours to do that and you were a really good kid at school yeah. you were you know a really nice kid yeah. really quite educated doing quite well yeah. never got in any trouble yeah. just quiet yeah. then all of a sudden you get to the age of 13 14 15 they, they said that you were walking wearing ISIS badges at school I was not I was not these stories are going to happen when you're not there to defend yourself I know I know so if the government come and spoke to you would you be willing to tell them how it happened of course, yeah. I actually think it's important that they know so that they can pre prevent it in the future for other people. Because you said Boris doesn't, um, it, it doesn't know. You obviously know Boris is there. What yeah. do you mean by that? Because do you think the British government? No, I just mean like the fight against terror terrorism is not a one-man job. It's multiple people with multiple skills that. And, and you know, do you believe that you have the tools? I do. Yeah. To stop kids. Yeah, I do. Believing in this. I do. And let's talk to security expert Will uh, Geddes about uh, what he's seen there with Shamina Begum. Um, you got a view? Yeah, I've got many views, Eamon, uh, none of which are very positive in uh, reflection to Shamima. But I think fundamentally uh, her assistance to helping the war on terrorism is probably a little late in the game. And I would have thought any police or MI6 operators that have interviewed her probably would have rinsed her for every piece of information they needed already. Yeah. So she overrates her importance or effectiveness then? Yeah, I think she's just still trying to remain current, uh, trying to obviously uh, petition as much as she can her return to the United Kingdom. You can't blame her for doing that. Mm. Uh, but I think in terms of her value to state security, it's probably uh, very, 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 very mm. small. Uh, just a, a final point about Shamima Begum. Interesting how she's appearing on camera. Of course, we all remember the, the interview she did at the time when she just had a, gave birth to a baby, which tragically later died. No, baby's not their fault that they were born there. But she was in full hijab during those interviews. And now she's sort of in her sort of Croydon gear. Do you think that she's actually walking around in these camps dressed like that? Or is this all for the benefits of the camera? I think it's probably for the benefits of the camera. It's to, to show her re westernization if you like. Uh, and I think it's probably highly likely that the moment she's off camera, because certainly when we see her being interviewed, it's usually in a fairly sort of remote area of the camp or it's indoors. So I think uh, the moment she goes back into the camp, bearing in mind there will be other ISIS or former ISIS fighters there. Uh, if she doesn't put her hijab back on, I think there's probably a potential you know, retribution that she would suffer. Mm. Okay.